Hi guys, I'm back again with, with another pruning video. This time it's the uh, the fig. Yep, we've let this one go too. These are good reminders, these videos, for not only for you, for you, but for myself too. Yep, how am I going to put a net on this guy here? Wow, that's three and a half meters. Impossible. So, there's going to be some sacrifice here too, as you saw with the apple video. And um, pruning we go. We're going to um, get the chainsaw out. First, we're going to cut the, the tops with the lopers. And then, depending how low we go, we're also going to use the chainsaw on these fatties. Look at this. The brown turkey already coming to life. It's been uh, shooting out new tips for almost um, a month. Where is it? Right there. Look at that. Look, this process began in the middle of winter, like um, early July. Amazing. So the brown turkey, the other figs are sleeping, but not this guy. He's not sleeping at all. He stays awake, even in winter. Look. Look at that. All across, every tip, every every branch. But uh, that's not gonna matter because I'm gonna get rid of everything. Everything's going. Everything, everything. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get started now. With uh, the lopers. Yeah, guys, just uh, as a side note, it's winter still. Still winter. Even though we grow all these wonderful tropical um, trees here in our temperate climate, the reason why I make such a big deal is it's still cold. It's still cold. Uh, this heater here, this central heating, it runs in the house for um, seven months, every day, from April till uh, October. So even though I can grow mango and um, avocado and a hundred other things, bananas, we still have the heater running, guys, inside the house. Yeah. So that's why the um, big deal. We're not in the tropics. We're in a temperate climate, just like you guys in London or you guys in um, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, it's still freaking cold. 10 to 15 Celsius. That's what we have here in winter. That's uh, 50 to 60 Fahrenheit. All right now, going back to the um, brown turkey fig tree. I would normally stop at this point, right? Right here. Usually, this is where I stop in past years when I prune them. But the thing is, guys, these are very vigorous, very vigorous trees. And what I just took off, all of it, all of this, will be back. It'll be back on a tree by um, summer. In other words, in about six, seven months, all this will be back on this tree. So that defeats the purpose. I don't want to put a net up there at the four meter mark. It's very hard. And I don't want to be trimming again, right? Bringing it down, then putting a net on it. A lot of work. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to show you the other fig trees. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I butchered this fig tree last year, right here. See that? And there, butchered that. These are big, big branches we're talking. All right? And here, that one there. 
So what we ended up with last um, uh, summer were all these new shoots that came up. Very manageable. Very manageable. Easily reachable. Look. That's the tallest one and I can reach it from the ground. I did have to trim the tips. Tip prune. Some of them, not all of them. Not this one. About half of them. To get to the figs. So that's what I'm doing now with the fig trees. I'm cutting them down to around five feet. That's five feet there, or four foot eleven. Right? I'll show the other fig too. This one here. Look, same thing. A year ago, I butchered it right here and right there, up there. And then we had all these new guys come over summer. Not a problem. See, I can always cut these wherever I want and still get figs at the bottom. Right? I, I get to choose the height on these. These are easy to play with. It's not like playing with, with this guy here. You can't flex this guy. But this guy I can flex. I can do whatever I want to him, right? So you take control or take charge of your tree again. So that's what we're talking about. So instead of leaving this like this, because I don't want new guys coming up here, around here. I don't want, I don't want them up here. I don't want them anywhere around here. I want them down here. I want them coming from here, right? From down here. I want the new growth down here, not up here. I don't want it up here because it's going to be up there, two meters, over two meters by the end of summer, three meters. So we're going to use a chainsaw right here, like I did the other two figs I showed you, right here. So chest level. Let's do it. That means sacrificing one year of figs, uh, one, one summer. I might get some autumn figs, the late ones, in um, March. And that's it. Job complete, other than picking up the mess. Look at that. Looks like a baby. This tree is not a baby. I planted this back in 2002. Yeah, it's about 18 years old. 18. So... Beautiful. So now, again, we're going to be able to manage the tree. And not these guys here manage me every summer. By the way, um, these cuttings can be used to grow new fig trees, in case you didn't know. Many of you know this. But for those of you that don't know, see that, as I showed at the beginning? These guys are ready to sprout and grow in spring. So in only another month, look at the life. They're all full of life. Every one of these, every one of these is a, is a fig tree. So there's about, well, you, depends how, how short you cut them. You can easily get 50 trees out of all these cuttings, easily. And this is what we're going to have by March 2021. A fig tree looking like this, right? As I said before. And now that this one is already like that, what I'm going to do is just cut these back half, right? To the halfway point so we get some figs in summer. Yeah. So I'm going to bring them down by 10 or 12 inches. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, please like and subscribe. And more importantly, to share these videos. Share these videos with uh, newbies and people who are new to um, 
gardening in general but specifically fruit gardening we'll see you from the next video